The students had been using phrases like more than, a few, and many, which they needed to describe aspects of situations made with Cuisinaire rods. In this film, the teacher, Don Cherry, introduced the phrase a lot, and the students came up with the sentence, there are a lot there. The start of this sentence involves some tricky pronunciation details. A native speaker would use the R sound to join the first three words together, so that it sounds like this, there are a. Working on phrases like this as they are actually spoken is important, not only so that the students sound English, but also so that they can recognise the phrase in normal speech. Notice how, even though the L and R sounds are considered difficult for Japanese speakers, the students said these sounds well in this film. This is because, rather than giving the students oral models to copy, Don had shown the students the day before what to do with their mouths to make them. Notice how Don used several techniques to help the students get closer to authentic English pronunciation. There are. 
This is an example of how working on pronunciation should be introduced at any point in a lesson, whenever it's needed. Pronunciation shouldn't be worked on only in a pronunciation lesson. You'll have noticed how, despite the fact that the work on this pronunciation problem took over five minutes, the class hadn't lost the thread and were able to return seamlessly to describing the situation with the rods on the table. This is quite normal. Despite what might seem like a long diversion to work on a phrase or sentence, a class can usually pick up the thread of what they're talking about quite easily. We'd love to hear from you, so please leave a comment below or on our website at www.silentway.online.